All right, team. One of the things that makes Big so awesome is its project pool. The project pool is a place where community members, students, and faculty all rain down ideas into the pool about what kids should be working on. It's the way we build our curriculum. And what I really, really love about the project pool is that choosing things from it guarantees that students will really love the projects that they're working on. And now you might be asking to yourself, how do you make sure that the project pool is only full of the most awesome, best ideas? Well, we're really lucky in that we employ a kind of lifeguard. And that lifeguard is our team of strategic partner developers. And these people go from business to nonprofit to government agency uh, looking for project, asking them, hey, where can we put our students? How can they help you? What are you working on? Uh, what's worth doing? And I, I love that. We have partnerships with companies like the Gazette, architectural firm Shive Hattery, Van Meter Industrial, Hughes Nursery, Trees Forever, and all sorts of fantastic companies located right here in the corridor. Once a group of students looks in the project pool and says that something is really awesome and worth working on, they run it through three filters. And these filters are, first and foremost, that the student really loves the idea. They've got a serious passion for it. The second filter is that the project itself is interdisciplinary. Are you going to learn some math? Or are you going to learn some social studies? Are you going to learn some science? Or are you going to combine that with art? Or could you combine all of the subjects together? And finally, is there an external audience for this project? Is there someone out there who has a vested interest in not only the product, but the actual process that you're going to go through to learn this material and get this project done. So at this point, you've taken on a project, and that project is a thought. You, you think it's worth doing, and you're excited about it. And what we do after that is we form a healthy team. Now, I don't want you to run away. I know that some students kind of balk at the idea of having a team. They have had some bad experiences with it in the past. And I'd like to point out that BIG is really about having a healthy team a group of people that really want to work together to get something done. The way that scheduling works at BIG really, really helps keep our teams healthy. Every single day at BIG is completely different. Some days you come down to Vault Coworking in the Nubo neighborhood to meet with your team. Those may be the green days. Some days you stay at your home base school to get done whatever it is your team decided needed to get done that week. Those may be the red days. Some days you may be traveling around the corridor, meeting with the organization or business that is a part of your project, and those may be the black days. And some days you may not work on big at all. Uh, really, we believe that the project itself tells the student what needs to get done and when it needs to get done, and we'd rather not schedule that for the student. And we're really happy about that because we think it keeps our team super, super healthy. The mentors and your teachers at big who are endorsed in physics and sociology and art and math, uh, they help you build a textbook. And this textbook is built out of links and videos and ideas and lectures and things that really help build the content around the project uh, instead of a project that fits in at the end of a unit. Um, and finally, we believe in communication. Communication is the most important thing for students to learn, and we do it in a way that closely resembles the way that it's done in business. You're constantly communicating through email and text and phone and in person with your team and with your mentors and with your businesses. Communication and email and scheduling and group work and being able to complete a project are the fundamental cores of what BIG believes in. But we also have to keep track of the common core and next generation standards that loom over education like a monolith. We need to make sure that students are learning these things. And there are a lot of really valid ways to learn these uh, standards. One of them is to take AP courses or traditional classroom courses, which uh, most people are totally familiar with and works fairly well. Another way that is valid is, is homeschooling. And another way that we've created here is to jump into the big project pool. Um, the cool thing about jumping into the big project pool is that we keep track of the standards you're learning and then give you grades based on the, the credits you've earned that are on the same 5.0 scale as other uh, AP courses. Uh, you also end up with a transcript that looks almost identical to the way that a regular uh, student's transcript will look. It, you may have done projects that add up to English 11, and when we finally get to that point, we put English 11 right on your transcript. So both students end up with an A+, plus or a fantastic grade, or a reasonable-looking transcript for colleges to look at. But the student who went to big also ends up with this project that stands behind them and bolsters their resume, like a, like a giant friendly yak hanging out behind you saying, hey, 
Yeah, I'm a great student, but look at this thing I also did. Isn't that cool? I'd like to close out with a story that helps to illustrate why we think jumping in the big pool is the right thing to do. Uh, the faculty at Big once visited a fantastic college out east. And at that college, a bunch of parents and students were sitting in a hall listening to the admissions director. And that admissions director said, you know, every year we receive more than 30,000 applications for only 2,800 slots. Now, we love it that you take AP courses. We love it that you take traditional classes. We love it that you get good grades. But a lot of these students have exactly identical transcripts. What we want to see is that your, the student has done something with their passion, has created something, has tried and failed into something better, has really, really built, uh, started to build a name for themselves. And what we believe at BIG is that we're giving students a chance to learn the core curriculum as well as develop a project that really helps identify their personal brand. So that when you leave here, you have a concrete, visible version of your project that you can show and say, I'm a great student, but look what I can do with the knowledge I have. And we're really proud to be able to offer that to students in the corridor area. And if you're interested, please sign up at iowabig.org.